Welcome to the Level Curves and Cross Sections video tutorial. In this example, we'll be examining multivariable functions and their level curves. We'll also be taking a look at angled level curves produced by intersecting a plane with a curved surface. We're being asked to estimate the value of f at the coordinate x equals 3 and y equals 4, where the function f of x comma y is equal to 2x squared plus y squared. And the range of the function is from z equals 10 to z equals 40. We are asked to graph five level curves equally spaced from each other. Step 1. Go to Tools, Load Package, Student Multivariable Calculus. And let's go on the line below. Step 2. Write the function in math mode. Right now we're in text mode, as you can see. And you can go to math mode by clicking on this math symbol right here. And we can continue writing the function. f at x comma y equals 2x squared plus y squared. Step 3. Go to the context menu of the function and select evaluate at a point. and enter x equals 3 and y equals 4 because that's what we were asked here to do, estimate the value of f at x equals 3 and y equals 4. And hit OK. And it returns that the z value, or the height of the function, in that dimension is equal to 34 units. Step 4, copy and paste the function onto the next line. So now we'll be doing something different. Step 5, go to the context menu and right hand side. And now we obtain the right hand side of the equation. And using the context menu again, go to tutors, calculus, and the multivariable section. Tutors, calculus, multivariable, and cross sections. And here we see the cross section tutor pop up. Now, we are asked to modify the range of each variable as follows. We want it to be from x equals negative 6 to positive 6, and y equals negative 6 to positive 6. And the range of z should be from 10 to 40. The question also asks us to graph five level curves. So the number of planes right here is already set by default to five. And what this means is that throughout the range of the, of the variable z from 10 to 40, there will be five equally spaced level curves. Maple automatically spaces them for you, which is really convenient. Just click on display. And Maple produces five level curves. And as you can see from the top, they seem to be five concentric ellipses. You can change the number of planes to whatever you would like. You can change it to one and click display. We'll have one level curve there, or you could have three and so forth. You can also change the expression as you'd like. So let's take away the square on the y. So now we have the function as 2x squared plus y. And let's click that. Now it produces something really different. Let's go back to the previous function. And hit enter, which will display the function. What's interesting is that you can also have planes cutting through these curved surfaces. So where it says over here, plane equation, let's type in, for example, 4x plus y plus z equals 20. And let's click display. And this is really interesting. We have a plane at an angle intersecting the curved surface and it produces an ellipse. Now if you would like to graph the cross-section 
of the curved surface. You can choose, for example, x equals 2 and click on display. You can now see that it has graphed a cross section at x equals 2. And you can do it at whatever value you would like. Thank you for viewing the Level Curves and Cross Sections video tutorial.